Well, I hope you got your brown pants on because you might just soil yourself after I tell you about this brand new monitor technology that's coming out. And I think it's the thing that we have all been waiting for, fellas. My hype is out of control because according to flatpanelshd.com, great source by the way, apparently the first primary RGB tandem OLED monitor panel was just reviewed. Now, if you haven't heard of this primary RGB tandem OLED technology, it's actually gonna be debuting first in TVs, although uh, now hear me out, it's coming to monitors very, very soon, so stay tuned. But it's debuting in the 55, 65, and 77, I think maybe 83 inch LG G5, I'll have to double check on that, uh, OLED TVs first, and it's an enormous upgrade. If you haven't seen, it's gonna be increasing the color performance of W OLEDs, hopefully pretty significantly. It sounds like that'll be the case. And it's also gonna be massively significantly improving the brightness. And get this, they're actually going back to the C-series type of glossy coating on these new TVs as well, which means not only is it gonna be crystal clear, which is, oh, thank God, but on top of that, it's also going to actually have the basically perfect black levels in any lighting environment. It's crazy how deep black can get on those TVs, it is just completely unmatched. And it's the main reason as to why I still think the 42 inch LG C4 is one of the best monitors you can buy today. It has a lower refresh rate, the full screen brightness is lower, but my God, the contrast is insane. Well, that technology of the perfect black levels on top of a massive brightness boost and color boost will be coming not only to TVs this year, but it looks like monitors as well. This is exactly what I was hoping for. And get this, apparently it's gonna be starting off with the brighter 27 inch panel. According to flat panels, they say, in competition against Samsung displays, QD OLED LG displays next move for monitors is to introduce its primary RGB tandem technology first announced in January for TVs. This technology delivers 20% improved efficiency along with better color and luminance. It is also known as a four stack or fourth generation OLED. And they go on to state as confirmed by LG display to flat panels HD, the first monitor panel to incorporate primary RGB tandem technology will be a new 27 inch panel. This 27 inch panel will feature a 2560 by 1440 resolution and up to 15 1500 nits peak brightness and up to 335 nits full screen brightness. That is absolutely crazy. Now, I do suspect that the 10% window brightness will also be at 1,000 or maybe even exceeding 1,000 nits, possibly as high as like 1,300 nits, which would be a massive improvement over the roughly 700 nits we have now. And this would make this monitor actually the first monitor technology that can actually deliver, at least for OLED, a meaningful HDR experience. You must be able to pass or at least meet about 1,000 nits in a 10% window without massive dimming to actually give you a meaningful HDR presentation that is significantly better than SDR under all conditions. And this is something that will be happening with this monitor according to the specs at least. Also, apparently you'll be able to run it at 480 hertz at 1080p or 240 hertz at 1440p, which is very cool. Uh, but also I had read that apparently the time frame quote for mass production is listed as 2025 and apparently LG has confirmed that it plans to gradually apply its primary RGB tandem technology to its gaming OLED lineup. So what I take that to mean is that all of the sizes of LG OLED displays should be getting this brand new monitor technology, which is great because this is exactly what we need. Uh, we've had a pretty lackluster HDR presentation from both Samsung as well as LG, and this does put Samsung on notice. I've been telling them for months, I've been having conversations with them that they do need to improve the brightness of their QD OLEDs. Now, I cannot reveal the source that told me this, but I do have a very trusted source that has told me that Samsung Display is working on improving the luminance of their displays now as well. Now, will this land in 2025 or 2026? I don't know. I also have been told that Samsung Display is hard at work of fixing the magenta tint problem on their displays as well. And to be honest with you, if Samsung can deliver a QD OLED with no magenta tint and more than double the brightness, they will have one heck 
of a monitor on their hands. And then it'll be back to Samsung and LG really going at it with, in terms of contrast, as well as, you know, brightness, color, all these things will be very, very good on both. But the one question I have about this LG display that should be coming out is, will it be matte <laughs> or, or will it be a glossy coating like we see on their TVs? I really hope it's gonna be just basically a TV, but smaller. I, I hope that's the case, but at this point in time, we don't know. So put in the comments below if you want it to be glossy or matte. Yes, I might be affecting the results, but if, if, if you put that in the in the comments and if everybody's like, please, LG, give us a glossy coating like your TVs, which are excellent. And I will be reviewing the 55 inch LG G5 shortly because that thing is going to be crazy and even way brighter than this, if you can believe it. Frankly, I can hardly believe it myself, but also that thing is going to be 165 hertz. So that that wow if you can fit that 55 inch in like on your wall and bring your desk back that is going to be the gaming monitor of the year monitor but <laughs> for everybody else who cannot fit a 55 inch screen in their room which that that's kind of hard to do this is something to look forward to i cannot tell you this is the most excited i've been for a display technology in a very long time so please put in the comments below if you wanna see them use a glossy coating like their TVs, they may end up reading it and you could, and this has happened many times in the past, you do have the power to change products that are unreleased thus far. And for everything else display related, make sure to get subscribed here on the Display Guy. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And now RuPro is offering a new detachable and upgradable pure fiber cable that sends the same 48 gigabits per second signal through its ultra thin and flexible housing making it easier to route through walls. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.